this past weekend, I had the amazing opportunity to go to the Texas Renaissance Fair for their All Hallows Eve celebration. But before we could get down there, we had to make a quick four hour trip, which uh, if you're in Texas, it's not that long. But of course, like any good Texan, we started our road trip with the dear old Water of Burger for the most eventful yet uneventful drive of my life. But fear not, we were always blasting those Ren Faire tunes. I say eventful because it just started to pour halfway through our drive, which uh, bode well for our stay at the Ren Faire. We also saw some very interesting things on the road. What? <laughs> what is this? Oh, Kroger and State Fair. Oh, is he going to the State Fair? And before we got to our campsite, we of course had to get a very gimmicky bottle of mimosa, which truly did not prepare us for what was about to happen. So we just got to the Ren Fair. It's um, a little wet, and we also got the car stuck in the mud. So we're camping here. <laughs> So, um, we're, it's, it's not storming. It was stormy before, but now it's, it's slowed down a lot. So hopefully the tent will go up very quickly, but, um, yeah. <laughs> Luckily we got the tent up with no problem, but the, uh, car was still stuck. So we got the, uh, bedding set up. We have an air mattress and I have my sleeping bag right here. It is humid. I, my face isn't this, like, oily. It's, that's just sweat, baby. But luckily we have a fan going right here, right, right there. But it's gonna be a uh, it's gonna be a hot night. We managed to survive the night after uh, much difficulty sleeping. But uh, here's a quick layout of the tent. We had a generator that was hooked up to the fan, the air mattress, and some cloaks and all of our stuff to get ready. And we even had the luxury of making pancakes in the morning, which uh, was a great pick me up. Let me tell you that. After breakfast, we got ready and I actually made this overskirt out of some leftover fabric. And of course, on my belt bag, I had to have my autumn leaf bag, which you can find over here at EnchantedMothHollow.com. And of course, it's not any Ren Faire outfit if you don't just have a ton of jewelry and stuff hanging off you. And finally, the moth wings. We also went on a small quest this morning to uh, find a way to get our car unstuck and uh, luckily we found a very nice tow truck man. Thank you, Chris. But finally, we had made it into the Ren Faire. And just a reminder, it was hot and humid. It was a very muggy and gross day, but you know, we make the best of it. But you know what's right at the gates and is perfect on a very hot day? Well, some very cold mead, of course. We stopped at the Hive Mead Bar to pick up a new bottle of their strawberry mead. This mead was absolutely delicious. And I will say now that the bottle was almost gone by noon, mostly by me. Tea. From there, we just walked around the fairgrounds and saw different shows, went into different shops, and if you didn't know this, Texas Renaissance Fair is the largest fair in the country. So uh, this fairground is huge, and it took us a while to traverse it all. By this time, the mead and the heat was getting to me, so I really needed something to eat. So I went ahead and got this steak on a stick, and we stopped at this little shaded pavilion right over here. If you have not tried the steak on a stick, it is absolutely fantastic. It's perfectly seasoned and everything, juicy. It's 10 times better than the turkey leg. I will have to say this. Controversial. We also use this time to film some TikToks slash reels slash shorts before heading over to the arena to watch the real steel fighting. we went into the Magic Garden, uh, which is just like this very secluded walkway. We also went ahead and took some product photography and some just cosplay photos of my outfit and my leaf bag. And we also did a majority of the Ren Faire interviews here, which will be a video for next week.
We got so much fun content in B-roll here. Honestly, very beautiful. It was at this point that the fatigue was really setting in, so uh, we went ahead and took it a lot more easier at this point, just sort of filming what we need to since we got a lot of content in the morning, which is great. We also got these chimney cakes, which was, um, they were okay. They needed more ice cream for sure. And by 4 p.m. we had seen most of the park, but have been skipping a lot of shows, so we decided to stop and film and, you know, watch a full show. to our favorite tavern and got a beer and some fish and chips. This beer was very different. It was very nutty. You can see me say <laughs> nutty in, in the video, but uh, it was perfect for a very hot day. The food was also perfect to end a very, very eventful day. We actually ended up leaving the fair pretty early at around 6.30 p.m. just because we still had a car to get unstuck from the mud and a four hour drive ahead of us. So I basically just went back to camp, packed up, um, had four men push us out of the mud, very cool, and started the drive back to Dallas. Thank you all so much for watching this vlog video and make sure you tune in next week where you can see me interview these absolutely amazing Ren Faire goers about their outfits and what they like the most about Ren Faire. It was a fun time all around. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for maximum algorithm efficiency. See you all next week. As always, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons. Thank you all so much for supporting me this month. And I have some very exciting updates coming to Patreon in 2024. Make sure you follow my community tab or my social medias to find out more. Bye bye